House Peak is renowned as one of Canada's most difficult and dangerous mountains to ascend. It has a very sheer peak of 3,295 meters and is located in Banff National Park on the border of British Columbia and Alberta. On April 15, 2019, alpinists David Lama, Jess Ross Kelly, and Hans Jorjauer set up camp at the base of House Peak on the Alberta side with a goal to conquer the ascent of the intimidating mountain. For a bit of background, David Lama was a mountaineering and climbing prodigy, making his mark in ascending the Cerro Torre mountain for the first time without any climbing aids in 2012, along with the first ascent of the Luna Gris in 2018 after multiple attempts through insanely cold weather. Jess Ross Kelly had mountaineering in his blood, with his father John Ross Kelly being part of the generations in Everest. In 2003, Jess and his father would ascend Mount Everest together for their first time, and he would be a keen mountaineer ever since. Hans Jorjar was a well-known free solo climber and mountaineer who completed the first ever big wall free solo climb of the Fish Route in the Italian Dolomites region. He was also into mountaineering and had gathered much experience with multiple ascents. All three of these outdoorsmen were part of the North Face sponsorship together and could be considered a dream team for the task of conquering House Peak. On April 16th, 2019, the team of alpinists left their base camp to embark on their expedition to make it all the way up the peak through the M16 route, which was particularly difficult. They had to consider the treacherous terrain and unpredictable weather conditions that awaited them. Within just over an hour, they had already made it up hundreds of meters and began to move away from the original M16 route that they had planned into a completely untouched area through a gully. There was deep snow, but they made quick progress, arriving at the summit at 12.40pm. After briefly admiring the amazing view, they began their ascent down the mountain. By 1.37pm, they had made it back down to the gully that they had passed through that morning. At about 2 p.m., a snow cornice, an overhanging formation of snow, suddenly collapsed and triggered an enormous avalanche which took David, Hans George, and Jess with it. This picture captures the exact moment that the avalanche happened as a nearby hiker witnessed it. Right here in the gully is where the three mountaineers were at at the time. At 2 a.m. on Wednesday, April 17th, Ross Kelly's wife, Allison, texted his mom, Joyce, as she had not heard anything from him. Joyce had not received any news from her son, which was unusual, as he usually checked in. After a sleepless night, the following morning, with no word from Jess, Joyce talked to Jess's father, John, who, as mentioned before, was an esteemed climber in his own right. John considered various possibilities for Jess's absence, recognizing that not all of them were necessarily dire. Taking action, he reached out to Parks Canada, prompting the immediate deployment of a search and rescue team from their base in Lake Louise, located approximately 30 miles away. A member of the search and rescue team traveled to Banff National Park and located Jess's truck at the trailhead leading to house. Subsequently, a helicopter was dispatched to fly over the eastern face of House, where they made a distressing discovery. An extensive expanse of avalanche debris covered the base of the wall, and among the scattered remnants, fragments of climbing equipment were discernible. However, the most disconcerting sight was a leg protruding from the snow, offering a somber glimpse of the situation. Despite thorough examination, no further evidence or clues regarding the climber's fate could be found. As the weather rapidly worsened, the search and rescue team documented the scene through aerial photographs before returning to Lake Louise. They then contacted John and Allison to share the distressing update. News of the missing climbers quickly spread and Parks Canada received over 800 calls for information on the incident by Friday. On that Friday night, the weather conditions deteriorated quickly to where the search had to be called off for the safety of others. The search continued on Easter Sunday of April 21st after a tense couple of days of waiting while the weather calmed down. There was hope for an Easter miracle, but tragically it never came. The three men were found deceased under the snow later that day. For three inspirational mountaineers and climbers David Lama, Hans Jauer, and Jess Ross Kelly to all pass away in one night was absolutely devastating for those who were close to them and for anyone who looked up to them. Thousands gathered to honor the lives of all three of them in the days after the heartbreaking discovery. They died doing what they loved, and though they now rest in peace, their achievements live on to inspire countless outdoorsmen and women around the world to conquer mountains as they did.